Hey, happy Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving uh, weekend and we are here working on the daycare center, trying to get every extra minute we can in. It's currently about 32 degrees and I honestly think there's snow flurries. There's snow a little bit. Coming yeah. down, but. <laughs> it's cold, my nose is red. I've got my little, you know. I said, little. Hey Chrissy, let's go do a video. And I said, let's start outside. And she was, uh, outside, let's just Put my start coat on. inside. Put my coat on and my little head thing. Because <laughs> yes, we're, we're getting some little snow. We are. But it is week number nine. Last week was doors, doors, doors. This week is bathrooms, bathrooms, hey. bathrooms. And an update on the sprinkler system. And we're going to take a trip and go upstairs to see how everything turned out upstairs. So let's go check it out and see what happened. I guess first of all, while we're outside here, here's an update regarding on the sprinklers. I think last week I mentioned that uh, we had the backflow system right about here come in. But now we actually have the rest of the sprinkler system. Last week I think there was just a trench. But here's the sprinkler box. And then uh, the sprinkler lines, is a drip lines that are going all the way down the edge here. And then uh, that's going to be the play area. And then there is a drip line that go all to the different landscaping areas in front. Um, we did have him dig out this section because there's going to be a curb along here. But... Uh, we actually looking at it, I think we're gonna ask to say, hey, can we dig it out a little bit deeper for the wood chip area? But uh, the prep on it is moving along. There's gonna be a curb that comes right along on this edge through here. And then there's gonna be pavers all along the edge here. So then that way there's an actual walkway and a place where we can have different things. But- uh, And I just didn't even notice this. Oh yeah. This is where our sprinkler, I mean our um, our drinking fountain is. Yes, be. this is where the drinking fountain so, is. That's just uh, water out this yeah, the oh, tube right here. That's going to be the drinking. Drinking fountain, water spigot. So yep. that's exciting. I didn't notice that. We were yeah. hoping the fence was going to be started last week, but I think with the holiday, it was just a delay. So they we're hoping Monday. this week. So we're hoping they come on Monday to put the posts, and then I know it takes a couple of weeks usually to get from the post to along we're we're moving we're moving <laughs> slowly but moving, yeah, moving. <laughs> here we are we're gonna head into the front door and some painting has been done oh don't shut it all the ways because it's locked but oh. <laughs> no problem but yes all of the outdoors have been painted I was hoping to get to the trim but it is so cold I think the paint's gonna freeze but Let's go on inside and see the update on what's taking place in here, um, which looks exactly the same. So let's just skip over here to the bathroom. Okay, after nine weeks, I am 99% sure that one room is complete. We have about 20 different sections, and one, the very smallest, is complete though. I wanna show you. So, the, the 1% is I'm still putting these decorations on the door because we were waiting for the door to dry. But look inside this bathroom. Look how, I don't know if you can see how cute it is, but we've got our decorations up. We have our diaper changing unit, which was, we thought we were gonna put the cabin on fire because drilling through tile made the screw go on fire. Anyway, full st back story there, but still standing. Um, everything, even the child locks are on, guys, even the child locks. And I learned how to replace and fix bathroom fans. So I fixed this bathroom fan. I did the other two. Well, the other one was working, so I, get, I just did two. But I mean, even the heat vent, super exciting, guys. Nobody cares but me, but heat vents are in. Okay, this bathroom right here, Lane worked all day trying to get the door in because the door, these doors are just wonky and they've been beat up so many times that they're, I mean, he worked really hard. But this one right now I'm working on, oh shoot, that was wet, but um, I'm working on putting <laughs> decorations up. I'm still taping them. And then once they're taped, I'll come through and put them on and then we put a polyurethane coating on top. Oh, the heat vent. Oh, 
Okay, so guys, pro tip, <laughs> pro tip. When you measure one heat vent, do not assume that they're all the same because I measured one, I went to Lowe's, I bought three of the same size, I came home, that one fit, the other two did not. Do not ask me why there is different size ventings in the bathrooms, but it was the most frustrating experience. So pro tip, never assume that anything is the same. Measure. Measure, measure, measure. Each individual. This door is wet too, but this has a handle. The door has been puttied and painted and Lane put this door thing of a ding on. I mean, it looks great inside here. Um, we're still waiting on stalls and the backsplash, but I sealed all of this grout. So, and I did this bathroom fan, which I broke because it fell. And so now the top of the cover is being replaced, repaired right now. But, um, yeah, the tile looks great in here. Cleaned it all up, sealed it. You just need to get this toilet to stop leaking, and then this bathroom will be ready for decoration. Here we are going down the hallway to the kitchen, which seems like it's still a disaster zone. <laughs> we thought we were going to make some good progress this week on the kitchen, but unfortunately, it seems like we keep going backwards. Well, we had another happy surprise. So <laughs> we were we're replacing for the county health. You have to have like um, wipeable surfaces, and so we were replacing those because they just didn't look very good. We cleaned them as well as we could, but they just didn't look good. So I'm like, oh, we'll tear. It's them like off. a plastic like, wall. Yes. So I'm like, we'll just tear them off. It's like forty bucks a sheet. So I'm like, uh, it'll be a few hundred dollars, but it'll look so much better. So we were tearing the plastic sheets off here just to replace, and when we did, all of the sheet rock came off because because of the leak in the roof, it had all gone down this way behind the plastic, and it just rotted out the sheet rock and the insulation. So we tore Mike tore that out, Mike, Mike and Letitia, and this is the new insulation, and they're caulking, and we've got the sheet rock here to put back on it but hey good news i don't know if you guys know or remember but this had a hole in it until this week so this is in they've been doing some plumbing which i don't actually know what but there are some new pieces of plumbing so it is moving we did order our epoxy it will be here wednesday and i'm hoping at that point we'll be able Ooh. to do i mean he's been doing he's been doing a lot of prep work so if you come in if you look at this, he's been grinding and then putting new concrete down to make it more even. As well as over in the kitchen, in the kitchen behind the fryer and behind the stove was literally an inch to two inches of grease. So after it was all dug out, turned out that uh, the floor was sloping the wrong direction. So now with this extra concrete, now it's gonna slope to the drain. So, Which, and we had the other, the same problem over here where he had to put some new sheetrock in because when he pulled it off, this had, because it sloped into that corner, it had eaten up the, the board, bottom section. The bottom of the board. So, so this entire wall over here where another sink's going is going to be that plastic wall as well. But we're hoping this coming week we'll be able to come in here with the floor and finish out the walls. Paint and painting. Maybe oh, painting. painting. Finish out the painting. Yep. Ladies. Oh. This is Lane's biggest accomplishment this week, and it was a ton of work. So kudos to Lane. Woo! He, he I think tire. last week or the other week before, we came and did a quick preview of this just so, to see the update. If you notice, it is all ivory and white. And even though the kids won't be up here, we wanted to make it a, a nicer space for staff. And this is gonna be Lane's office up here which as you can tell, it doesn't look like a cave anymore. It's really a pretty area and we're gonna figure out something, something to do, to do with, with the floor. floor. I don't know if we're gonna The floor's been it pretty, or... I mean, they're okay, but they're pretty worn overall. And then same with this bathroom. This bathroom, we're gonna have some updates, but at least temporarily, it's all clean Hopefully, and painted and nice. as you can see, there is a tape over the bathroom because this was not leaking when we bought it. And now it is leaking. So, <laughs> so, so by the end, we're going to have every single bathroom yeah. repaired. Yeah. <laughs> every toilet, 
every and bathroom. Right into the ceiling that Lane already painted. So now we have to go through and fix that up. Fix the ceiling, fix the toilet, then fix the ceiling. So oh, well. it does. There's a lot of like step forward, step back. But I think on the whole, we're moving in a positive direction. Okay, the break room is a little dark. We haven't changed out any of the lighting in here yet, but just to give you a quick look around on, hey, everything's nice and painted. This was the wall, if you remember from week number one, when we first got it, there was a hole, what, two feet by two feet, and there was probably three or four other holes all throughout up in here. I don't know, I think they did a MA, fighting challenges up here in this room or something because no, there was so much better there was holes broken all over the place upstairs in here but uh all it's all clean here. it's all painted if you remember there were big holes over here which i don't know how those came to be but yep big holes over here that are gone all repaired all textured up we need to do some cleanup and things like that but on the whole it's you know way better than it was So probably our biggest, if this happened last week, and I don't think it was mentioned, but we got our site plan approval. We got both of all our building permits approved. So the, you know, all the work that we've been doing is actually approved now. <laughs> <laughs> week number Which, nine. Hey, <laughs> don't tell the city. Oh, sure. Well, we'll start working now. Now that we got the official approval. They told us anything that approval. was cosmetic we could do. And so most of the <laughs> stuff is cosmetic. It's not structural. But, but yeah, it's all approved now. And then the gazebo outside, so we had a structural engineer come and mm -hmm. they did a, a report to see, like, you know, to bring it up to code. We sent that report in, it's been approved, so as long as we get all of that work done, then that will be approved. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, we've worked so much this week. Like, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I know you can't really tell, I mean, some things have been done, but it's just a lot of little things, like, just a lot of... Like, I understand now why contractors take so long to do something because yeah. you have to, like... Go to the hardware store ten times. There was one day I went three times myself, Lane went once, and then one of our contractors went. And it's like... Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, so that's why... It's going to be beautiful. It it's going to be. be great. And oh, check this out. Here. Oh, yeah. Black Friday specials. Look at that. Got herself a basketball hoop for outside. Woo! That's when it's really going to start getting fun. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just never know when to go. Like, he doesn't give me the... Well, when the red light turns off and the counter's See? moving, See, then you know it it's when, recording. I thought it was when the red light was on that oh. we were recording. But anyway, <laughs> we, get, we are glad you guys are following. Please keep doing so again our website is leapaheaddaycare.com mm -hmm. if you're interested or you know somebody who'd be interested send them our way we are getting closer our target date was january 2nd i don't think that's going to happen we are having the county health inspector come like next week or the week after i can't remember but that's only if the kitchen is done now and we're shooting for groundhog's day groundhog's day would be great but yeah. we are i mean once we get the floor in the wood floor everything will go fast yep. i think Awesome. Anyway, have a great week, guys. We'll see you next week at week 10.